Dun, dun, dun. I got a little help from some friends here. And we're going to take a look at these antennas. And I'm, we're basically just going to weigh them up and take a look at them. It's going to be a quick video. Hope to be in and out of here in under four minutes. So, I don't know who these characters are, but thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so, I'm going to take all their little weapons away. You know, the last one, oh, they just dropped theirs, thank you. Okay, so obviously these two are the same. These are, if you've seen my last couple videos, these are the one gram antennas from FPV Hobby I've been waiting for. And, uh, they finally showed up. So a little late for my other project, but I can always return to that. This is the antenna that came off that last project. I thought I would include that so we can get a weight uh, of what to expect if you do that project and you watch this video. And this is most of what Banggood calls their micro or light antenna. Um, they say on their site that it weighs 3 grams. It has in parentheses with wires. I don't know what that means. So let's get right to the good stuff here. I'm going to change the camera angle. Okay. So let's start with FPV Hobby. Are we zeroed out? Yes, we are. They say their antenna weighs one gram, and it does weigh one gram. Uh, take a good look there. Uh, they have increased the amount of solder that they use on the um, top of the circular polarized wires. These also come pre uh, tin, so that's really nice actually because that's especially on these little tiny antennas That's a really fiddly job to get that all stripped the sheathing stripped and to get those twisted up and then tin them um, That's I don't know 15 minutes worth of work maybe more um, These are I think 9.95 each so I bought two Just for Consistency let's weigh this other one It comes in at one grams too. How about that? Look at that. Okay, now this one is the uh, Banggood Micro or Light Antenna, and I've cut off approximately an inch to an inch and a quarter off of this, and it's also missing part of its sheathing. Little bit known to me that uh, it had torn off off my old DIY FPV kit, and uh, so when I desoldered it, it just fell off. So that says 2.8. Banggood says it weighs 3 grams. Now I'm guessing that if this were whole, it would be more than three grams. Um, now, there is a, a size discrepancy here. Um, this one is, is going to take a lot more of a beating because it's uh, it's just constructed differently. Um, but I don't know how well this one works. I know that Bruce over at uh, RC Model Reviews, he can't stand these things. But I've used it, and I thought it was okay. Um, so let's move on to the whip antenna inside the metal tube. Uh, we might be able to take that out of there. We're just going to weigh it up just like it is. Uh, 1.3 grams. So I'll only gain 0.3 grams on my other project, but still that's fine. I'll have a circular polarized and I still gain a little bit of weight on that other project. So there you have it. Micro antennas. Um, I haven't even used this and I can just already think this has got to be better than this or this. Uh, but it is nine dollars. You can get this one for like two or three bucks, depending upon where you buy it from, as far as USA or China warehouse. So, more money, but lighter, and most likely, probably better results. But I can post up what I find later. All right. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, or any other antennas you think we should give a shot, uh, let me know. Leave them down in the section below. Thanks for watching, and subscribe for more videos. Okay, I'm back. One last thing. I thought it was worth noting that FPV Hobby shipped these inside a bag, inside a box. A pretty nice box, really. Reminds me of my old uh, working at a pizza place. And then for whatever reason, I don't have any problems with it, they put two rubber bands around it, too. Um, and this was inside a shipping bag. So, um... They took quite great care in shipping it to us, so I, I have an affinity for that. I thought it was worth noting that if you're not familiar with FPV Hobby and ordering stuff from them, uh, there's less risk that your item will get damaged in the mail because of the way they package it. So good on you, FPV Hobby. Appreciate it. Okay, that is actually it.
comments in the section below. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like. Subscribe for more videos.